I'm DJ Steffens, and I'm going to take you guys on a little tour through my Instagram account. So on this photo right here, uh, from two years ago, we won the, the French championship in Monaco. And um, this was a picture that was literally taken like right after we came off the court. Um, we brought the trophy back to the locker room. Everybody was in there celebrating. And I just felt that I had to get a picture with the trophy because this was my second championship that I won in Europe. And that was a big moment for me. This is a photo from Summer League two years ago. Um, as soon as I finished playing uh, in the French League, I literally left from here and went back to the States and I went to go play Summer League in Las Vegas with the Memphis Grizzlies. So this is a photo from when I was playing that summer. This is my oldest daughter. She's so adorable. As you can see in this picture, she has like the biggest personality. Um, as I told you earlier, like probably my, my biggest accomplishment to this point is my oldest daughter, Dallas, and her younger sister, Lourdes. This was a crazy moment. Either 2015 or 2016, I can't remember exactly when. I went to training camp with the Cleveland Cavaliers and almost made the team, but I got cut the night before uh, the season started. But just being in that training camp with LeBron and, and guys like uh, J.R. Smith and Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love, I took so much away from that experience just because like I was there working hard every day and I was able to compete with those guys. I was happy that they got this picture because that's my favorite basketball player. So to be able to capture that moment of me um, battling with LeBron and being on the same floor as him and being able to defend him, that was a huge moment for me. This is a picture from the French All-Star weekend two years ago when I played here in France. Um, I think this moment was from the dunk contest. And um, I was having a pretty good night. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I was doing a lot of big dunks that some people had never seen before. And I was just having a lot of fun. And the crowd was going crazy. And I was just enjoying it. This was beginning of last year. A uh, photo shoot that we had. We did team photos. It was a big moment for me because it was going to be the first time that I was going to be on an NBA team at the start of the season. So it was huge for me uh, being back in Memphis where I went to college at and my entire like support system, like all my fans that I had in the city of Memphis and for me to be back there, it was huge. It was huge for me. Clark Kent with the switch up. Yeah. Like, um, it's not often that you get to see certain people and like a suit and tie. You usually see them in jerseys or like normal clothes, but I clean up nice. I look pretty good. So, you know, I just wanted to, to put that out there. Uh, but this picture was taken like right after we had like a banquet for a special event before the season started last year when I was with the Grizzlies. And then they took these photos after. Uh, this is a picture that um, I took with my, my Habibi in uh, the Middle East. They call each other Habibi, which is like my brother. Um, Matham, he was on the team that I played with um, last before here. I played in Bahrain after I got let go from the Memphis Grizzlies. I just wanted to go somewhere to be able to finish the season. Um, so I went to Bahrain to play basketball for a little bit. This is me and my mother. Uh, I love this woman. It's tough to say love her more than anything because I have daughters now. So of course I love them more than anything, but like right underneath that, um, I love my mom that amount just because like with everything that I've been through in life, um, making mistakes, like accomplishing things, like she's always been there and she's always been one of my if not my biggest supporter, one of my biggest supporters, and I'll forever love her for that. Um, even till this day, like, she's always checking on me, seeing how I'm doing. She's always trying to do things for me. She's always trying to look out for me and take care of me. So I'll always appreciate her for that. And she always mean the world to me. This is another picture uh, from when we won the championship two years ago. It's funny, everybody always looks at these pictures and they see my facial expression. And they're like, why aren't you smiling or why aren't you happy? 
Cause it's just like in these moments, I don't know how to feel. Like it's not like a lot of times it hasn't really set in yet. Like everything that we accomplished, like that we won the championship. So it's like me, I'm just trying to absorb and take everything in. And with this team, like this is a really special team. Like um, we had a lot of ups and downs throughout the season, uh, getting into the playoffs and then having to play Asheville, Strasburg, and then play Monaco. Those were like the toughest teams in the playoffs and we had to beat every single one of them for us to win that championship. So to me, that'll always be a huge moment for me to remember and it'll always mean a lot to me. Like I even, I keep in touch with all these guys, even still to this day, like we have a group chat and we talk to each other every day. Um, we check on each other, we see how each other's doing. Those are like my brothers. I love all those guys. This is a picture that was created when I decided to come back to Lamar. It's kind of crazy how this situation came about because um, pretty much all summer, like I hadn't heard anything from Lamar. But somebody, a fan from here tweeted me and said, I hear there's a rumor that you're coming back to MSB. Please tell me it's true. And at that point, the team hadn't contacted me. I hadn't spoken to them. So I'm thinking to myself, like, no, it's not true. Like, where did that even come from? And then gradually as um, time went on throughout the summer and then Antoine reached out to me about the idea of like coming back and then for everything to have worked out the way that it did and for me to be back here now, I'm happy.